Well, hi, everybody. Good Wednesday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on the 15th of April, halfway through the month. And, uh, you know, it certainly hasn't been feeling like it. In fact, Hastings setting another record low this morning, a two-year-old record. Uh, got down to 20 degrees this morning, the old record being 21 degrees. It's down in the teens and 20s this morning around the area with mostly clear skies. We're going to see some clouds move in from the west later on today, so look for increasing cloud cover but the chance of moisture should stay west and northwest of the Tri-Cities prior to supper time here. So uh, you can see maybe a few light sprinkles or light showers dotting the landscape. Those will start to shift southeastward tonight. A small chance in the Tri-Cities this evening, a little better chance to our northwest prior to midnight. I would say the bulk of it being way out towards the west here. But as we go into the post-midnight time frame, what we're going to eventually start to see is a nice band of precipitation set up from west to east across the state. Recent forecast models have been setting up a little farther north over the last, I'd say, 6 to 12 hours. The newest forecast models that have been coming out here. And I think we're eventually going to set, see this band kind of set up right somewhere in this location right here, near and north of Interstate 80. That's kind of the most likely outcome as we get into tomorrow morning. I, I know that this model's not showing a lot for the Tri-Cities, but at seven o'clock tomorrow morning, I do throw in about a 60% chance. Some models are a little more aggressive than this one, so I am gonna throw in a decent chance even around the Tri-Cities. Now, some of the heavy snows initially will be right here, but we are going to start to see uh, more snow pick up through the morning hours. And I think the bulk of our snow accumulation will likely happen during the morning hours tomorrow. And again, within that band, right there in the middle part of the state from west to east. That's where our heaviest snows will be. Likely to see the highest amounts out here to the uh, west here. As we get into the afternoon, the snow keeps going, but might start to change to or mix with rain into the afternoon hours. I know this model snow shows it all snow. A lot of it just depends on the temperature, but if that snow is even falling, some of it's gonna be melting depending on the rate of the snowfall. Uh, temperatures are gonna be near, if not a little bit above freezing, so some of it will be melting, but might even change to rain. The other thing you'll notice is the arrows here. We are gonna pick up on a pretty blustery northeasterly wind, but probably not strong enough to cause too many blowing snow concerns. This isn't going to be the type of wind like what we saw back on Sunday. We're talking about 15 to 25 mile per hour winds gust to 30 miles per hour. So not strong enough to maybe cause the big time issues like what we saw for some of you, especially with the power outage issues back on Sunday here. As we get into the evening hours, the last lingering snow and rain pushing to the south here. There is a chance, and it's kind of off of our map here, but it's, if it's farther north, there's a chance that some of these areas right here might get a little resurgence of some snow during the evening hours in northern Kansas. So there might be a, a quick inch or two of snowfall in those spots. I know that model doesn't show it. A few others do, though, so there's that chance. But eventually everything's going to shift south and away from us later on Thursday night into Friday morning. So there still are some uncertainties with snowfall amounts, and a lot of it just depends on where that main band sets up. Now, again, in this particular model, it's pretty close to my thinking, maybe a little farther south than what I would think. Uh, right now, I, I would almost shift it maybe about 25 to 50 miles north here, and that's where your highest totals will be. But like I said, I still think the highest amounts will be right here. Uh, out west and probably a little higher than what you're seeing on this particular graphic but I would put that in that two to six inch range out there farther to the east towards central Nebraska I would put it at one to three inches right here and then same thing to the southeast I would be more likely to say one to two inches but there may be some higher amounts of up to three inches I know that model is showing four inches around Nebraska City here a little pocket of higher amounts there that's a little less likely not not completely out of the question but a little bit less likely um, now we do have alerts at, that are out but they're mostly for the western parts of the local four viewing area right now there's nothing out farther out out farther to the east but that will probably change sometime later today in the blue that's your winter storm watch that's in place from seven o'clock tonight till seven o'clock tomorrow night those are areas that could pick up two to six inches of snowfall um but the confidence is a little lower yet which is why it hasn't been upgraded to a warning farther west and mostly outside of the local four viewing area a winter storm warning is in place for areas that could pick up three to six plus inches of snowfall in the panhandle especially the southern half of the panhandle and into west central nebraska around ogallala uh, arthur county mcpherson county those locations same time frame but again, a little more likely or a little more confidence that those areas may pick up a decent amount of snow. I think what will eventually happen 
is that within that band somewhere here, we'll probably see some kind of a winter weather advisory eventually issued for some of those counties there. So keep an eye for that later on today here. But as of right now, there are no alerts out, but I think there's a possibility that could be put out later on today. Well, before the snow comes, we have a day today, which is not great, but it's the nicest day we see all week long. 40s north, 50s to the south, getting close to 60 in the far southwest. The best thing about today, though, is that the winds will be lighter. Most of us keeping those winds under 10 miles per hour today, so we won't have to deal with a lot of winds. So that'll make it feel better than what we had yesterday. We'll drop back into the mid and upper 20s and lower 30s tonight. Again, cold enough that we will transition over to snow. And then not much recovery tomorrow. Highs only in the 30s around the area for tomorrow, which would keep us mostly in that snow range. Maybe some rain and some of the warmer temperatures by tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow night, once that storm system clears out, one last really chilly night down in the teens and 20s. I think after tomorrow night, Friday morning, we're done with these really chilly conditions and we'll start to see some nicer low temperatures come back into play. Friday's still a cool day though. Highs in the upper 40s to near 50 degrees, lower 50s in some spots, upper 40s, lower 50s. That's still well below average, but it's gonna get better after tomorrow. Let's look ahead to your uh, weekend. Now, first again, we've talked about these next three days. By far, tomorrow's the worst day. Next, uh, Wednesday and fr th Friday aren't great by any means, but starting this weekend, it gets a little bit better. 60s returning Saturday looking pretty decent a bit on the breezy side now a weak backdoor cool front may inch back into the area from the north Saturday night into Sunday that might bring a few extra clouds on Sunday and slightly cooler temperatures on Sunday as well but after that it looks like we're going to start to warm up a little bit more Monday and into Tuesday next chance of rain and maybe some thunderstorms coming in on Tuesday as a closed low pressure system is going to move across the area Tuesday into Tuesday night so we're gonna to have to watch for that next chance of rain but you'll first off notice no snow in the forecast maybe severe weather we'll have to watch for it down the road as well long-range forecast trends again keep us on the milder side next week not super hot or anything like that, but at least a little bit milder. There are some hints that towards the very end of the month, around uh, the last few days of April or early May, we may actually start to see some toastier weather actually move in here. But uh, this is giving me hope that hopefully after tomorrow, we might be done with the snow for good. I can't make guarantees because we've seen snow in, even in early May uh, at times over the last several years. It does happen. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. But... Again, the trend is for some nicer temperatures to return and maybe stick around for a while. And we could be maybe getting out of the cellar after this week here. So looking forward to better things to come. But again, we've got to get through tomorrow, especially here these next three days, but especially tomorrow before we look forward to the nicer weather to come. So with that, I will let you all go. Thank you for watching. By the time I'm doing this recording tomorrow morning, shortly after seven o'clock, we're probably talking snow for much of the area here. So uh, get ready for maybe some slick road conditions tomorrow morning. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you all again on your Thursday. Until then, take care and God bless. Bye.